So now I'm going to demonstrate some hinge variations. The hinge is one of the most difficult exercises that we teach our clients. The first thing I'm going to show you is a broomstick Romanian deadlift or a broomstick RDL for short. There are a couple different ways you can do this. You can put the broomstick on your back and hold it with one hand. It should touch the top of your tailbone, your upper back, and the back of your head. That's how we know we have a neutral spine. You're going to set up with your feet about hip width apart. Your core is going to be braced and your knees are going to be soft, which means that they'll bend slightly on their own, but you're not actively trying to bend them. So you're in this position. Push back into your hips. And again, you want to maintain those three points of contact the whole time. Core stays nice and braced. You're going to come up and squeeze your butt at the top. So push back into your hips. You should feel a stretch in your glutes and hamstrings. Weight should be on your heels. You're going to come up and squeeze your butt. What you don't want to happen is for the broomstick to come off your back, to be bending at the waist, or to be hyperextending so it comes off your upper back. So you're here. Push back into your hips and come up. Make sure you stop when your hamstrings catch. I could go farther. Then, so my hamstrings initially catch about right here. I could push back farther, but there's kind of no point. You're only increasing your risk for injury and you're probably not getting your mobility from where you should be getting it. Um, another version of the broomstick RDL, and it just kind of depends on, on which one works better for you. You're gonna hold it like a barbell and you're gonna run it down your legs. So this is helpful for people to teach them to, to, to push back into their hips because if you just bend over, it's going to come off of your body. If you push back into your hips, it should run right along your body. So as I push back, my glutes and hamstrings are stretching. I'm loading them, and I'm going to come up and squeeze. Also, make sure you don't hyperextend at the top. You want to finish with your glutes and not finish with your low back. So you push back into your hips, come up and squeeze your butt. Make sure lats are tight and chest is out. So those are the ways that we teach the RDL. We also sometimes set people in front of a wall, so about six inches, they can practice pushing back and actually we set, tell them to touch, uh, touch the wall with their butt, that teaches them to push back into their hips. If you're going to do it with a kettlebell, make sure you pick up the kettlebell properly. It's exactly the same way that you would have done it with the broomstick. It's just going to run right down between your legs, so shoulders back, chest out, ribs down, push back, should run right down between your legs, come up and squeeze, push back. Come up and squeeze, maintaining a nice neutral spine the whole time. When it comes to a regular deadlift or a conventional or barbell deadlift, we generally start people off with a kettlebell just to teach them to push back into their hips. So a kettlebell deadlift, depending on their levels of mobility, we might be uh, put this on some risers, put it on some plates, lift it up a little bit, or if they're able to do it from the ground, we'll have them set up feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes turned out slightly. They're going to brace their core, push back into their hips, and when you run out of room, you're going to bend your knees while continuing to push back into your hips to grab the kettlebell. From there, you're going to drive your heels through the floor and pull it right into your zipper. So I'll demonstrate. Set up with the kettlebell almost between your heels, toes turned out slightly, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, your hands go right in your zipper. You're going to push back the same way you did with the broomstick RDL. And at this point, I've run out of room, so I want to squat down to get the bell. But it's really important to keep pushing back into your hips as you squat down versus just squatting down to it. Okay, this is a hinge movement, not a squat movement. So you're here, push back into your hips. As you bend your knees to get to the bell, continue to push back into your hips. Keep everything nice and neutral. Lats are tight. You're going to pull it right into your zipper and finish with your glutes, not your low back. You're going to reverse the motion to put it back down. And that's how we teach the kettlebell RDL, or I'm sorry, the kettlebell deadlift. Sometimes people will put the kettlebell out in front of them and do it with their feet more together, like in a conventional stance. We find that that gets the, the weight too, out, um, too far out in front of you. So this is generally the way that we teach someone the deadlift. Then we have them move to a trap bar deadlift. Then if they're prepared, we have them move to a straight bar deadlift. So that's the broomstick RDL, the kettlebell RDL, and the kettlebell deadlift.